So a number of years ago, I installed this hardwood floor in my house. And this room happens to have a couple of desks in it. This is where my wife and I sit at our computers. And I know these chairs are not good on hardwood floors. And so I thought, I'm going to protect the floor. And I put down these mats. And that was a huge mistake. Never put these mats on your hardwood floor. The problem is, is that no matter how much you clean, you're still going to get little bits of dirt and grime and grit or whatever coming into your house. And that will gather along the edge here. And this edge is not perfectly adhered to the floor. It's loose after all. And right along the edge, it's like sandpaper. And it just grinds and grinds as you move, as you walk, as the chair rolls. I think we would have been better off just putting the chair right on the wood, even though that is hard on the wood also. And the other problem is that, well, it hides it away because the mat just lays there. And so I, I've actually was aware of this a couple of years ago and I just like, I didn't want to deal with it. I wasn't sure what to do. And I just put the mat back down and ignored it, which means it just keeps getting worse. I used to have a mat here also. I picked this up. I'll bring the camera in closer. It is chewed up all the way along the edge, especially up at the front over here is where, uh, where the front of the chair is. So there's a lot of weight there. That's where I put my feet. It's, it's practically bare wood there. Um, so this is not a sponsored video, but I bought some water-based floor finish and I'm just going to do the best I can because uh, ripping out the floor is not going to happen. Um, I don't even really want to deal with, you could patch a floor. There's lots of videos out there about how you can take boards out of the floor. We could do that. I'm not really doing that this time. This is going to be the best I can to uh, sand it down a bit, put some new finish on, and we'll see how that goes. A lot of this dust, I think, is the uh, polyurethane or uh, whatever finish was baked on at the factory from this hardwood, or some of the dust. Most of the damage is around the edges. The center is, is pretty good. We'll, after, uh, after I give it a wash, we'll see what that's like. I'm expecting that I'll be concentrating all around the edges of where the rubber mats were with three or four boards width of laying down fresh polyurethane. Two, three, four coats, whatever it takes. The far end of the mat here, way under on this side, it's not really much damage at all. It was all back here along where you entered and sat down. So one factor of having the grit all along here is that in addition to sanding or whatever else, I need to go over it with a pick, I find, because there are little bits that are just embedded in the wood and I need to get those out. You know, people say that they, uh, they like it when I show mistakes on screen because it makes you human and it lets you know how to deal with mistakes, but this is a mistake that I would rather I had never done in the first place. Using 220 grit sandpaper here to scuff it. Really the uh, front and back because it runs along the board looks much worse. The edges, they just have little sections of each board are not so bad.
Okay, it's now the next day. Cleaned, scraped, sanded the parts that I want to touch up, washed it, let it dry, and now today I washed it again because it's a house, we live in it. And it's now dry and I'm going to proceed with putting on the polyurethane. I'm just going to use a brush, it's not that big an area. You could use a big pad if you're doing a big area, but I'm just going to use a brush and see how it goes. It's going to go pretty quickly, I think. I'm using a water-based polyurethane. I'm I know in the States there's still a lot more oil-based finished around, so people are maybe not as familiar with it. And it's very, very milky white, but uh, it dries crystal clear once it goes on. I've been using water-based poly for probably 20 years, so just lay it on thinly with a foam brush, and it dries very quickly. This will be dry in an hour. Recoat in two. This side of the room is actually not as bad as the other side. It had, we had a chair here for a much shorter amount of time. So I'm thinking this side will actually touch up and look pretty good very quickly. All right, it has been about 24 hours since the last coat was put on and I think it's turned out really good. It's fully dry so I can walk on it, but it needs two more days to cure to full hardness, so we're still gonna try staying off it. But I am quite pleased with the results. It's by no means perfect or brand new, but I wasn't expecting that. I would just, I've, especially here along the front, it is a lot better. Got a good coat of, I think I did about four or five coats up here. I can still see where the scratch is. We'll see if some UV will blend this in over time. So how do I prevent this from happening again? Um, again, not sponsored, but I've got a set of these for most of our tires now, most of our tires, most of our chairs, I have these replacement wheels that I picked up off Amazon and they have a soft rubber wheel so they do less damage to the floor. And that's about it. My main point was about showing the damage that those plastic chair protectors will do on hardwood and you really don't want them on your hardwood floor, but I was happy to be able to patch this up. As always, thanks for stopping by and spending some time here, and we will see you on the next one.